Hello, good afternoon, Miss Tuti. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Desi Sutriani Saputri from class 03 CGM 001. I will present with the title Teaching English for Kindergarten. Alright, as a background on the teaching English for Kindergarten, among other is. Number one, according to R. G. Tross in Martianto, 2008, in 12, kindergarten is education for preschool age. Great children whose activity include educational activity, instilling values, attitude, and behavior in everyday life. Two, meanwhile, in the 2004 kindergarten curriculum and rather to after, Ministry of National Education is stated the kindergarten is a form of early childhood education pathway for children aged four to six. Well, from this background, children in the learning process really need an introduction to a second language, namely English, because at the age of the child, it's essential for them to start from the beginning, so you have to get used to it. The next, why English should start from the initial level kindergarten? Number one, increasing the need for English in everyday life. Two, ready to face the understanding of forage culture. And the ear is to start the more time to learn more in language sensitivity. And ability to speak English will be an advantage for children. Then the last, it's very useful to be able to speak more than one language, especially in English, this era of globalization. This is very important because at the age of the children learning English, they can develop their potential later both in the family, school, and communication environment. Next, the factor. The factor, what is the factor number one internal factor? Internal factor can be like in the family, children usually communicate with their, with their parents and their parents use a second language English. This can be listen for children. And two, personality external factor. Normally at school, the and normally at school, the teacher and student communicate in English and when teacher English. When teaching English. Three, education at school, atmosphere, at home, parental, education, and surrounding environment. Next, characteristic of students who are interested in learning English school, at school, at home, or one, activity thinker and learning. Two, learn to interact with teacher or parent or friends. Acquiring the dominant language through listening. Learn new things and make them happen again. And the last, like to play language through action or mission imitation, imitating, making funny noises. With this characteristic, we can see that children have basic ability like comfort and easy remember what they know and love. And then another characteristic uh, like is explorer curiosity and which uh, the children always to uh, experience uh, and it's knowing and etc. 
Next, what is considered to choose activity method and technique for teacher to communicate with with his student? Number one, oriented to children needs and playing well learning, creative and innovative. This development, the intellect of children because they are, they, they are still always exploring these things in their own, own environment. And then, Okay, so after knowing how children understand learning English, it's for us teachers, there are a few things to note, namely what method are activity. For children, learning requires an apart and comfort to children so that children want to learn such as with a game, observation, picture and animal and other. This is a uh, example to example as teacher to teach the student. Uh, number one, prepare interesting object for children. Introduction Animal names first by showing interesting picture in color. And then invite children to color. Prepare a sheet of paper containing picture of animal that are ready to be colored. Okay, and then three, repeating every, every word and sentence and has a sentence that has learned. Repeatedly mentioning the name of each animal in English until child can say it properly and correctly. Okay, uh, the next is conclusion. Teaching your little one to speak English from an early age should ideally become and awareness for parents, teachers to help children be better prepared, prepared to compete in global era when they grow up. Not only through formal education, but English can also be learning through various entertainment, such as watching video and reading. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.